without the stairs. Because those are some long legs. I've seen those before, but not every day. All the way to the top step, throw a leg over, hold on to his mane, watch your foot there. And he rocks. Whoa! <laughs> We've had stilt walkers climb on without the stairs. <laughs> You'd probably fall on my face. <laughs> I would love to be a stilt walker, but after destroying both knees, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. This is the biggest rocking horse I've ever seen. <laughs> He's sitting level on his rockers at 7 feet 8 inches to the top of his ears. Wow. He weighs 714 pounds. I bet it's fun to transport this thing. Oh yeah. Well, once you got them on the trailer and strapped down, then it is fun going down the highway with them. You get a lot of attention. Yeah. Getting them on the trailer, I put wheels on them. They rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> Did you get video, Michael? Did you get video? Oh, well, if you want a really good picture, the best picture possible, go right back here to the back corner of the stage. Yeah. I'm going to rock her back and she looks back over her shoulder at you. <laughs> the over the shoulder shot is beautiful. You're going to love this. Take off your glasses now for one shot at least. There you go. Beautiful picture. Sweet. And now if you're going to shoot video, Hold the phone in the right direction. Yeah, Michael. I've taken it as my mission in life to stop people from holding their phone vertically while shooting video. I deal with that a lot. <laughs> Do you have another rider? Yep. Which one's bigger? Um, this one? This is the bigger one. <laughs> Michael, do you need the baby horse? He's 520 pounds, the smallest one I ever made. What? That's great. How long does it take to make them? Uh, they're approximately a thousand hours each. Oh my gosh. From the time I start drawing pictures, because these aren't just carved out of a piece of wood. You have to design it, then build it, <laughs> then carve it, then finish it, then build rockers for it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of work involved, but then after, I, after I've done all that work, I get to come out and play with people and have fun for a living. It's great. How do you decide on the hair color? Uh, whatever drives my fancy. Plus, uh, I've got the horns that a, a guy in Los Angeles makes the hand-blown glass horns for me. Oh, that's cool. All right. He makes glass. You're going to get the over-the-shoulder shot, right? Yep. Wait a minute. You're shooting video vertically, aren't you? Nope. I'm just taking a bunch of pictures. Okay. <laughs> Well, then you don't have to ride today. Whoa! Yeah, the lower you get, the taller the horse looks. One of the tricks I use as a photographer. Like back I had a lady that was riding him that had legs probably a little bit longer than yours, so I get some real down low shots. It looks like she's got legs forever. And then we had a guy in Sacramento this year that actually made this unicorn look small. You seen the, the, the first, the original Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. Remember the bosun? Enormous black guy. He rode this horse in Sacramento a couple wow. months ago. And he's even bigger in person. That guy's huge. 
he walks up, holds his hand out to shake his hand. You're like, which finger do I grab? <laughs> Shoes like that long. Oh yeah, that's a big guy there. Yeah. I've done a few of those. Of course. What up? So the lady called me up one Saturday morning. You can take some headshots. Okay. When do you need to do it? Now. Okay. Where are we going? They're not here, they're over that way. The, uh, yeah, she needed headshots. She goes, I'm auditioning in about two hours, and I need a digital to show to them. I said, okay, I'll meet you in the park right down the street. You stop by Walmart or wherever and pick up a chip and a car. I put it in my camera, took the headshots, gave her the card, off she went. <laughs> yeah, well she didn't know that, that, that they wanted, you know, she wasn't expecting to go do that audition. They worked in casting. So, oh, okay. Uh, I am the one that takes the headshots and then actually take them when they go to audition. Careful coming down. <laughs> 